Welcome all to the next class of AK Bilateral series. In this video, you will see what is DAPI staining. D A P I DAPI staining. The full form of DAPI is 4,6-diamidino 2-phenyl-indole dihydrochloride. Actually, DAPI was first synthesized in 1971 in the laboratory of Otto Dan as part of search for drugs to treat trypanosomiasis. Although it was unsuccessful as a drug of trypanosomiasis, further investigations indicated it bound strongly to DNA and became more fluorescent when bound. As DAPI can pass through an intact cell membrane, it can be used to stain both live and fixed cells. But it passes through the membrane less effectively or less efficiently in live cells and therefore the effectiveness of the stain is lower. Actually the effectiveness of the stain in live cells is lower. So the cells must be permeabilized and or fixed for DAPI to enter the cell and to bind DNA. DAPI in combination with distamicin A can use for labeling a specific subset of C bands. Actually, distamicin A is a non-fluorescent antibiotic. This technique provides more resolution to the area of centromere region as well as the heterochromatized regions of the chromosomes. Usually together, the DAPI and distamicin A fluoresces certain AT-rich areas of the constitutive heterochromatin in the C-band regions of the chromosome number 1, 9 and 16 and the distal Y arm that is YQ and the short arm of chromosome number 15. This stain binds to the minor groups of DNA which is the adenine thymine rich regions. You can see here the minor group and major groups of the DNA and here in minor group uh, it is AT rich area and here the DAPI binds. So DAPI is a blue fluorescent dye. Actually DAPI is a blue fluorescent DNA stain that exhibits uh, around 20 fold enhancement of fluorescence upon binding to AT rich regions of the double stranded DNA. When bound to double stranded DNA, DAPI has an absorption maximum at a wavelength of 358 nanometer and its emission maximum is at 461 nanometer. Upon excitation, DAPI releases bright blue fluorescence that can be detected using blue or cyan filters. So DAPI is commonly used as a nuclear counter stain in fluorescence microscopy, flow cytometry and chromosome staining. Because of its high affinity for DNA, it is also frequently used for counting cells, measuring apoptosis, sorting cells based on DNA content and as a nuclear segmentation tool in high content imaging analysis. So DAPI in combination with the distamicin A, that is DAPI distamicin A staining is useful in identifying pericentromeric breakpoints in uh, chromosomal rearrangements and in identifying chromosomes that are too small for standard binding techniques. Actually, DAPI uh, will also bind to RNA molecule, though it is not as strongly fluorescent. This is all about DAPI staining. For more details about the applications and the procedure of DAPI staining, you can refer articles. Hope now you understand the topic well. Thank you.